All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to show you how to perform WPS pin recovery using a tool called Reaver. Now, I'm guessing that like 90% of you already know what WPS is, but for those of you who don't, WPS stands for Wi Fi Protected Setup. And what this is, is it's a system that allows people with, you know, little computer experience or router knowledge to easily set up a Wi Fi network. So, Let's just say that you want to have Wi-Fi at your home, so you got to Best Buy, you pick up a router, you come home, and let's pretend that you know you aren't very experienced with computers. So you plug in your router and you open the box and you see that you have this thing called a WPS pin. So what this allows you to do is if you go to your network settings, all you have to do is type in your pin and you're pretty much in your router. So you can access all the security settings, view the password, I mean that's it. So you don't have to worry about uh, you know some complicated radius server some pre-shared key none of that complex stuff just type in this eight digit pin and you're golden now what you should do is if you ever set up your router this way then as soon as you're done setting up your password then you should delete this WPS key but most people they don't because you know most people who use this key they like I said aren't very very familiar with uh, computers or systems like who is like I don't know like 5% of people probably so I'm gonna show you guys just how prevalent it is and how to you know see the networks in your area that have this available and there's a lot more to it but I just wanna show you guys the basics of it and by the way let me just type eight random numbers right there if you guys are looking at this and you're like, okay, eight numbers, you know, I think I'm going to stick with password recovery attacks because that's uh, still, you know, a lot of numbers to be brute forcing. Well, lucky for the people who made this system, this number is actually split into two parts. So it's actually four digits and four digits. So, <laughs> I mean, it cuts the brute force time in like less than half, like a fraction of the time. But again, this is just bonus information. Let's get to the fun part. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find a network that has this WPS still enabled. So make sure that your card's in monitor mode and if you go to arrow dump, NG, then right before you put your monitoring interface, then throw in the option minus minus WPS. So this is just a flag to show um, additional WPS information about the Wi-Fi networks around you. So hit enter. And you see that we now got this nice new column, WPS. Now you're gonna to wanna to look for networks that have 1.0 and that means that this has WPS enabled still. So look at all of them, like half of them already. Um, I don't have it on mine, obviously. You shouldn't have it on yours. If you do, then you wanna disable, disable it ASAP. But I mean, half, maybe more. So I'm just gonna stop that right now and now that we found our targets what we can do is we can start running this tool called reaver so reaver is basically a tool that is going to go through each pin one by one and brute force it and like i said you can have zero to nine or zero 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 to nine 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 so ten thousand options and usually a brute force of this only takes i don't know a couple hours so in order to use reaver let me just target mine right now just type the word reaver and then after this you just type your interface and basic settings so wlan 0 mon that's what interface I want to attack from and now minus B pass in the MAC address or the BSS ID of the network you want to attack so we'll pretend if I had WPS enabled then that would be mine and you also want to specify the channel so it isn't looking at every other channel so right now my network is broadcasting on channel 1 you know, there's no use looking at every, any other channel. You're just going to waste time. Now, three flags I want to show you guys that I'm going to recommend that you use all the time are minus F, minus A, and minus W. So these are just optional parameters. Minus F means fixed. In other words, it's going to disable channel hopping. Minus A, this just means auto detect the best options. And these are kind of advanced for, um, you know, whatever your target access point is. All those advanced options in dub minus w is what you're going to do is you're going to mimic a windows 7 registrar and if you write minus v then this is verbose in other words it gives you some details or display text on the screen as this tool is running 
VV means very verbose. In other words, it's going to give you just some more information. And what I always do is I run this first. So I run minus K1. So this is the kind of quick attack. It's called a pixie attack. Now, if pixie, whenever you do this, pretty much uh, pixie WPS, if you're familiar with that tool, um, the mode is enabled. So it's going to run through all the common pins. And if it doesn't hit, then you can run this tool again like this without it. But I always like to run pixie first just so um, I can see, you know, it just helps speed it up. So let me just run through these real quick. I'm not actually going to get their pin. But basically what it's going to do is it's going to try the common ones first and then it's going to just start brute forcing. So sometimes you're going to see retrying last pin if you don't have that good of a connection. And sometimes you're going to see time out. Now what this means is you some routers they don't allow you to just keep pounding them and pounding them with these pins. So you can only hit it like once every 30 seconds. But a lot of routers, they're just like, all right, you can just keep trying. So then it's going to, you know, try it like every one second. But anyways, it's going to go through and it's going to go pin by pin by pin until it eventually gets the one that works. Now I'm going to stop this because I really don't want to crack their pin. But the thing is, whenever it hits, it's going to stop and it's going to say, this is the pin. This is the network. It's just going to give you some more information and it's going to give you their password. So even if they have an incredibly complicated password like this that is essentially impossible to crack with a dictionary attack, then this WPS pin recovery is going to get it. And I'm not just saying that, oh, we hope it gets it, you know, like, oh, this may work like a dictionary attack. No, it's going to get it every single time, no matter how complicated their password is. So. Uh, there you go. If you uh, want to test this on your own network, again, don't do this on anyone else's network that doesn't belong to you. Like I said, it's illegal. That's the basics of using Reaver for WPS pin recovery. If you want to recover your own WPS pin, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.